Well, we've made Dalhousie Springs, Michael. Oh, a cup of coffee. Yes. It's not tremendously hot, but... <coughs> no, a cup of beer makes a way to go. Actually, the buzzing of the fly wings keeps you cool. What sort of bushy are you? Oh. Well, here's how you have to drink your coffee or your drink here in the middle of the day. You've got to take it under the net with you and be careful not to spill it. Not to lift your net up too far because a fly will get in and be swimming in your coffee before you know it. What an oasis. Yeah, it should be near be beautiful. Yeah, this is just a few kilometres out from Dalhousie, which is an, obviously an oasis with all that water. And a few miles further on, the road has turned all sandy again. The rocks are gone. That's the sand. A bit smoother. It is now 9.30 on Sunday morning. And, yeah, we're halfway to Mount Dare. Okay, onward. There's a lot of sections on this road like this. So I'll tell you what, don't come down here in the wet. We'll give this big bugger a wide berth. Mm. Wind's blowing our way too. Shouldn't have really shut. All the wind's shut. All the windows shut. Window shut. Yeah. <laughs> nice looking cattle. Hello. G'day guys. Yeah, we have some damsels in distress. Don't bother digging, you're wasting the time. Yeah. Yeah. No, leave it alone, we'll pull you out of there, no trouble at all. Yeah. <sighs> That's it. There you go. Now don't do it again. <laughs> A Kalgara pup. Brumbies. The Brumby brothers. Good day, horses. How you going? Well, here we are at Marla cattle train country and we're just going to set up camp for the night and for the first time this trip we're going to camp on grass and it's the next morning I don't know I think it's Monday today at Marla we wake up once again to a bright sunny morning Sound of the birds, green grass, and we're off on another day. Whoops, nearly burning me crumpet. Baked beans and bacon already. Gotta go. Wild horses. Actually, we've seen a few, but uh, you wanna come home with me, guys? Wanna go for a ride, Mike? Yeah, okay. You catch him and I'll ride him. You go first. Alright. See you fellas. Bye. A few kilometres down the road to the Painted Desert. We stopped and walked out to this little promontory of land because it's starting to get a bit hilly here. Lots of land under starry skies above Don't fence me in Let me ride through the wide open country that I love Don't fence me in Let me be by myself in the evening breeze And listen to the murmur of the cottonwood trees Send me off forever, but I ask you please Don't fence me in Just turn me loose, let me straddle my old saddle Underneath the western sky On my cayuse, let me wander over yonder Till 
I see the mountains rise. I want to ride to the ridge. Cadney Park, and this morning it's 6 30. We had a dawn service for Anzac Day. All the people staying here, the whole dozen of us, I guess, rolled up. And a very moving little ceremony. Then we all went inside after that and the park put on pancakes and coffee for us. So pancakes and maple syrup for breakfast this morning, fresh coffee and good company. Most enjoyable. Now we're heading off to Coobapedi. And heading to Coobapedi. In the distance there you can see the opal fields. And we're in amongst them now. All the gophers working out there. Well, we're going to have a look through Coobapedi, which is Australia's principal opal mining town. They tell us that 80% of the people here live underground. We're going underground into the museum where there are some fantastic uh, relics and things of the past, like the giant shell the chap dr uh, dug up, and he th thought it was a he thought it was a tractor tire or a motor tire when he dug it up. Fancy finding something like that. Anyway, we're going to stay for a short while, have a little bit of lunch, take a little bit of the town in, find out what it's all about. Maybe, maybe if we're lucky, we might buy some opal. Maybe if we're luckier, we might find some opal. But uh, I think the prospects of finding opal in a town like this are pretty slim. Maybe we'd better buy some. Anyway, We've here walked we up onto the lookout at the top of the the tourist attraction that's looking out way over to the road out there that's the dust of trucks coming in on the road this is the town of Cooper Cuba get it right Petey. we've decided that that thing there probably came from the filming of Mad Max which was done out here there's a couple of pictures around town showing the dust storm which was which they filmed in the um, in the film you wanted a fossilized shell this one looks good but guess what I'm not buying it today.